license, but she wants your ID too, yeah. I'm not giving my ID. I've not committed no crime. I'm just a passenger. Just for the report, can you please make this this movie No, it ain't because she wants to know who I am because I did that off it. I can't stand there, man. The views are awesome. instantly asking for my ID and I'm just a passenger in a car and the woman stopped at the red light my wife dropped her cigarette and barely tapped the car Did it kick on? Yeah, it did. It kicked on. Here, I'll show you. Come on. Pick it. What? You said you could make this easier. You know? I'm not making it harder. Okay. Hey, maybe it knocked it back into work. What's it not working? No, one minute. One minute our heat works, and it's like the rear of the frost works, the heat in the front. I think he thinks it's a sensor because it randomly goes in and out, like, and then the radio goes out. Especially if it's like raining or something, it like randomly don't want to work. That's what makes me think it's a sensor. Well, all of a sudden it kicked on, so maybe I knocked it in the heat. Oh. But see, Sam, that's exactly why I record them. Because the instant she showed up, she wanted my ID. Oh, okay. I'm not involved in this. I'm a passenger. Uh, we, we bought this car for $1,600 last summer. The only problem is I wish I would have thought sooner. Because I would have been able to get it for $1,600. and East 68, Highway 6. You watching Peppa? Good girl. Mom has a fourth 
she loves that thing. It's got, you know, the three, I don't know if there's something that does grow. It does, yeah. it does. It's never used. Yeah, neither is ours now that we're all, you know, grown and whatnot. But yeah, ours is kept in the grocery. And it's nice, you know, if you get it, four or five people in there and you're traveling or whatever, it's nice to go make room, you know, you can bend down the seats to sit up on it or whatever. I like it. There you back up, because I wouldn't ID. Let me see it. Come here. Let me see your face. Oh, they said so. Look up. My face is already swollen. Mm -hmm. My face is swollen anyways because of my jaw. Because <laughs> of the, my tooth. So. We have the second officer show up. Sorry about that. Already that they're really bored in this town. Not really. <laughs> I hope that's it. No, we just moved here two weeks ago. Or it could be maybe because my license plate is Tennessee and my ID is Kentucky, but Oh yeah, they do frown on that. But they may not. I don't know. Only I because I moved my mom and I didn't get my license updated and I stopped and I got stopped and I got stopped and I got ticketed like forty and forty five. I don't go back to court, I mean, until January or something. Seriously. I don't know, they just keep looking it's at It's because I refuse to ID, dude. No, they keep looking at my stuff, not yours. They got my ID in their hand, they just keep staring at it. Probably because, like you said, you got a Kentucky ID, Tennessee uh, plate. Yeah. We just moved here, though. <laughs> Hey, it costs us money to get everything transferred. I know. I need to get a new, I know I need to get a new license. Well, I know I do. Wait. 
last few mornings from the drive to Franklin at 5 o'clock in the morning and no heat on that one. I'm glad it was. Then I know I mean, I don't have any gear. I thought it was exactly. a matter, right? Nobody does. It's because of what I'm doing. And they saw me walking around the jail the other day. They're trying to figure out who I am. So That's why she instantly popped off the ID crap. And cops don't like it when you refuse because they hate educated people who know their rights. December 2019, that's the end of December. I don't know. We're in Russellville, Kentucky. And as you can see, blue ices. It's alive and well. <laughs> I went live. Sam, just so you know, I went live. I don't know if it's my, I don't know, my paperwork or what, I don't know. Is it not working? There's another one. <laughs> Good God. They're really, really bored in this town, I'm telling you. Yeah, I know it. Sun goes down and gets cold quick. <laughs> Three always show up for a little wreck. Sometimes, just as soon as I'm on the side of the road like this, we uh -oh. more of a safety thing. That's why we hang it back there. I'm on the turn lanes. Do that run up here and be nice? <laughs> oh, that's cool. that's cool. I was like, yeah, they must be slow tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and just a second ago, another one went by. I'm sitting right there. I was like, they must oh, be okay. dead tonight. <laughs> There's enough. For a second. How many Saturday, works on them? There's different. Different. Usually, I'd say for the whole county, I'd say at least eight to a night. Well, hell, we got half the force here. 
She's lost in it too, yeah, buddy. She's lost in my phone. Um, uh, no, I mean, it made a little bit of a Yeah, I mean, it, it just did that. But I'm more worried about the Mercedes than I am this piece of shit. Sorry. Yeah, of all the damn cars you could hit, it's a Mercedes. <laughs> I, said, I didn't realize that too. It said that to me. I said, oh my God, I hit a fucking Mercedes out of all cars. I had to be a Mercedes. You know, a Bentley, a Mercedes. You know, I've never hit a car a day in my life. I'm proud of that, but why did it have to be in the same I don't know if it gets much more expensive than the same. Oh, yeah, I was the department does use body cameras. I'm a big fan of cameras. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. I always document. Always. Not just for my safety, her safety, her safety, all of everybody out here, you know. They know where your kids are. Exactly. Some crazy asshole ride by y'all and start shooting. I zoom in and catch her plate because this thing's got a killer zoom on it. Is it a phone? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I got it on a gimbal. It's so that there's no shakiness or anything in the video whatsoever. And if you walk with it, you don't even know you're walking. I said, wow, when I seen the price tag. When you're trying to film a two year old, he's always filming his tower. So, <laughs> you know, when you're trying to chase after a two year old, trying to, you know, catch you doing something on video, it's nice. It's not like when I film her, the people still like this. You know, his are nice and smooth. You know, it makes the better movie. It's worth $200. They got them even, this is the smallest one. They got them way bigger. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen like in Hollywood where they're holding them things like this and they're strapped on their shoulders. Yeah. Them are just the big versions of this. Okay. This is a little version of that. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty neat. Okay, can I ask a question? So, did I get a ticket to No. This well, this right. You, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I, I was. No, I didn't this know. right here. It okay. just has the uh, today's date for unit number and report number. Oh, okay. That rest for peace time is going to take care of the accident. Right. Well, she told me I could go in there like five days and get this or come yeah, to yeah, the police station, yeah, but can, she didn't say, uh, so I don't know if I could do it. Oh, I don't know if that's what that was. Uh, 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 okay, okay. I just wasn't sure if that was the ticket or... Well, thank you, because y'all could have given me one, I'm sure. <laughs> thank you. Three days, four days before Christmas. So, I'm sorry just, about that. What? Could be sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> it was not your fault, ma'am. It was 100% fine. Maybe you should it's mine. Cool. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too, man. Thank you. Hey, can I get your name and badge? Uh, Ryan Brown. Hey, Ryan Brown. Ford. Ford. Nice to meet you. I'm Jeremiah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Jeremiah. Yep. I'm sorry. My yeah, allergies yeah. got me. It's here. <laughs> I'm the same way, man. <laughs> My ear popped over here, and it's like half the time people are saying something. I'm like, what? Huh? Yeah. Just listen to me. I, I'm listening, but... <laughs> Anytime on a big road like this, it's busy. We, we try to stack the lights up, that way people start slowing down because they don't pay attention. Hey, to hey, that's right a good thing, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it only takes a second, <laughs> that's how we got in this. I'm just glad it didn't do a lot of damage, you know. It's just a cosmetic, really. Yeah. Yeah, hurt, exactly, exactly. I turned around instantly and looked at her, and she was just like, Whoa! <laughs> Oh, no, Thank we're good. Have we're a good. Night. You too. So Merry much. Christmas, y'all. You're the reason all the damn showed up. Asked. Okay, you don't have a license, but she wants your ID too, yeah. I'm not giving mine. I have not okay. on the ground. It's for the report. She just wants it. I'm just passing.
And then I asked him if he had an ID just for the report, and he was like, I'm not giving you anything, I'm just a passenger, blah, blah, blah. And he's got his, like, camera with his little selfie stick out. Alright, I'm, I'm about to, I'm turning around right here about the park, I'll be right behind you. And I don't know, I can get pissed off with Sovereign Citizens, like, real quick. Yeah. So, I don't really Yeah, know. I mean, if, I, I mean, if... As long as he's not a driver, if he refuses to give information, you just nut it in the report. But, uh, I feel like we can do it. Okay. I wish he was driving, so he could be like, I'm no. not giving you shit, and then I can be like, well, just handle this a different way. and I was trying not to burn up my car and take my car on fire okay. and we were stopped at a light and I hit it. I'm just going to go. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And I drove. Yeah. 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 Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, he he's just a passenger. So I don't know if I have to have it. I mean, I kind of need it for the report, but he won't give it to me. Will the driver give it to you? Huh? Will the driver give you anything on it? I asked for information. Like, I asked for ID, because I wasn't even going to talk to him. And she was like, he don't have an ID. And she was like, good luck. I need a 4 Central. Let me see if you can locate an OL for Samantha Payne and Jeremiah Payne. Samantha Payne and Jeremiah Payne. Yeah, but we've already located him. Careful. Central, maybe 47. Safe to go in? Yeah. 
Tennessee, Charles King William, 128. Charles King William, 128. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, how are you? Sorry. You doing all right? Oh, yeah, I'm doing good. All right. Um, we got a call. Um, I, I wasn't here, so I didn't know. I didn't say anything, but uh, someone called and said that you were smacking the child, hitting the child. For real? Yeah, somebody called and said that, so that's why we're here. We're just checking it out, making sure everything's good. That's a damn lie. Yeah, okay. All right. I would never hit my okay. Like I said, I wasn't, even, I wasn't here, so yeah. well, we don't know. So somebody calls, we got to come. So, uh, uh, I get that, but yeah, that's not true at all. I got you. Alright, uh, you have your ID. Yeah, I'm conducting an investigation, so. I'm an investigation, somebody called you and said I'm smacking Yeah. Yeah, that's it. We're just trying to know who we're making contact with. That way we can say everything's good and all that. But do you suspect me of a crime? Yeah, I mean, right, right now, you're. you're being detained, that way we can investigate the call that we got. I'm not accusing you of anything, I'm just saying that when we get a call like that, we have to investigate it. So, uh, we gotta know who we're talking to. So, how is my name gonna determine whether I did what that person said or not? That's just part of the investigation. And what happens if I don't do my name? Well, I mean, you're, de you're detained until we figure out what's going on. Okay. Like I said, I'm not accusing you of anything. Just if we get a call like that, we got to we gotta investigate it to the fullest. I'm not, not saying you're lying, but, you know, people lie to us all the time. So we just got to investigate the best we can. So do I get to know who called? All right, we don't even know who called. They didn't tell me. So you can just call the police and say somebody did something and don't have to give your name or nothing, but I have to give my name for I mean, your yeah. investigation? I mean, they, they, you should be investigating the person who called y'all because they're lying. Will we investigate that after we investigate the initial complaint? How are you going to do that if you didn't get their name? Dispatch may have it. They just didn't tell us who, who called. They didn't tell, they don't tell I'll us. I'll do an open records on it. Yeah, they, they don't tell us that information unless we request it. So. I mean, like I said, I don't understand how my name is going to determine whether anything that person said is true or not. I mean, my daughter's sitting right there. You can tell. We just got back from the doctor with her, and she's in there now getting her medicine. Getting her medicine? Yeah. Okay. The baby's medicine. Okay. Everything okay with her? Yeah, just sinuses and oh. common code. Yeah. Bad time of year for that stuff, ain't it? Yep. I'm just, I'm just checking, make sure she's good. Yeah, she's good. Hi. Hi. You can, here, you can open that back door and look at her. All right. Thank you. Again, I'm being harassed, Samantha. Hey, hey, no. You're live on the internet. Please, please don't, please don't yell like that, okay? I'm not, I'm not harassing you. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just telling you the complaint that we got, and that's what I'm saying we're here here to investigate okay i'm not accusing you of anything or anything like that i'm gonna talk to her yeah like i like i was explaining here we, we, we yeah you're fine you can, you can get in there like i was explaining I don't know. That's what we're trying to uh, figure out. Somebody called. I was inside getting prescriptions, so okay. I don't know. Uh, basically, basically like the, the, the call was that we got that uh, someone said that um, oh. they seen a, a male inside the car um, strike a child and pick it up and shake it. That's that's the complaint that we got. Like I was telling him, I'm not accusing him of anything. We're just here. We have to investigate if we get a call like that. So. Oh my God. I'm not. <laughs> Out of anybody, I mean, he's a stay-at-home dad. He has her 24/7, and I would not. He has her 24/7, and I would not leave her at home. My daughter, my only kid, at home with him. If I ever thought in a million years that he would yell at her, strike at her, shake her, any of the above. Has she even been out of the car seat? 
Yep. I didn't think. I mean, she's about to watch the SpongeBob the whole time I've been there. I assume yeah, well, that. Like I said, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not using anybody. Like <laughs> right. Just, if we get that call, we got to make contact. Is there a you know, camera? Like, wouldn't one of those cameras be aimed out here to where you could see it? I actually I mean, do not know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just. I could just see them. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, that, that's something we'll follow up yeah. with if you feel like you need to. Okay. And this is just kind of a right. initial investigation just to see what's going on. Yeah, right. But like I said, we're not here to accuse anybody of anything. We're just trying to get. Right. get Basically, you get it done with everybody with you. Right. Uh -huh. Say that everything's good and all that. So. Right. Well, like I said, I mean, I would never, I mean, I wouldn't leave my husband with my kid if I were. I mean, if I ever thought Skylar was in danger, I would. I leave her every single day, seven days a week. He stays at home while I go to work. Right. You know what I mean? Like, by any means. But, I, you know, like, that just pisses me off. So. I'm just saying, this is like the fourth, like, I mean, we got pulled over one day because some. A cop said that me and him, they heard us arguing as we were driving down the road and we weren't even arguing. Like, I mean, like, it just never, yeah, I, don't know. I, I don't mean to all. I just, no, I'm just saying the truth. It's you. like, it's like, it's like one bogus thing up to the next. So, what do we need to do to clear this? I'm just trying to get information that okay, what do you need? I can document. Names. I'm Smith and Hank. She's Skyler. I used to spell it. S K Y L A R. I mean, I'd rather just give you the information you need because I'm sorry, but you know, I don't right. want. And just to end up I calling DCS saying somebody hit our kid when nobody hit our kid. And just you know just know because I, mean? I get your information don't mean that I'm turning you in for anything. It's right, just basically document. You're doing your job. I got just you. Just document. Well, I'm gonna follow up and make sure y'all follow up with taking care of the person who made the yeah, false we'll, report. We'll, we'll do a full investigation. I mean, it's not it's not all one sided. We right. we take the complaint. Like I said, we're here to make, make the initial complaint or take what care of the initial complaint, then we'll follow up with everything else that we need to follow up with. What are you doing? Right. I know you're stuck because we're getting ready to go home. Yeah, it's too cold. <laughs> I know, I know. Where's where's SpongeBob? You threw him? You threw him? No, okay. you threw your cookies? Your cookies? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, you your pass? I thought it was your pass. I know she gave you your pacifier. I watched. Yeah, don't try to lie. Don't try to lie. I know she handed you that pacifier. What's going on? What's going on? 11, 20, 20, Here you go. SpongeBob. SpongeBob, stupid pants. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, SpongeBob, dumb pants. We're in Russellville, Kentucky. Call the PD now. Maybe that's rude. I know, but I mean, some people don't like this small smoke. I know. Somebody reported that I was beating my two-year-old daughter. So I try not to blow. You know, you don't know. You could have just quit yesterday, and I don't want this to smoke. So, hey. Look, you just keep just racking up. Where are you here for? I, that's one thing about small towns. You gotta love it. You don't get one cop, you get everybody. Yeah. Well, the nature of the call that come out. Yeah. We yeah. grew up in a small town, though, too, in Tennessee. It's like, it's like a cop comes, the helicopter comes, fire and rescue comes, everybody comes. Well, everybody everybody comes. Everybody comes. But he, he, he allowed me to look at the child and everything. I, I asked her, too. I said, you need to see Skylar. I mean, yeah, I mean please look at her. I mean, I'd rather you look at my kid and see, oh, okay, there's not a mark on her. I mean, Basically, right. 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 everything here is fine. Nothing, nothing seems out of the ordinary. So, uh, as far as that, y'all any questions for me? I just wonder if the file would have been the most. I need all y'all's names and badges. I, I'm Officer Brown. Officer Eight zero four. Yeah. Officer McCoy. 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 Yeah. What was your badge? Eight zero seven. And you? Officer Lines. 827. Thank you. He's got one. She's got one. I don't blame her. Somebody made a false report of me beating my two year old daughter in Walgreens parking lot in Russellville, Kentucky. So they say I will do follow ups on the who, whoever called. Do our open records. No, I... We weren't here, so we didn't see what they saw. So. Right. 
But well, we had the same problem. We had a uh, when we in Franklin. I had somebody say that you know me and that me and the baby were sleeping out in our car at my job. Well, my job has a camera Waffle House. Has cameras on the outside the building. And the caseworker went and looked at the camera and she's like, "You're not where they said you were." I said, "Why don't you come to our house at my mother's house?" And it was overrun with toys. She's like, "Okay, you obviously live here. You have a place to live." You know, I mean, you know, it just I know y'all don't ever know. Like you use money to do that. You don't know what you do with your mom. Thank you guys. You guys have a safe night. Thank you, y'all too. Thank you. And just because I uh, know my rights and I respect my Fourth Amendment, don't mean I'm a sovereign citizen. I heard what you called me. I really don't appreciate it either. You want to be judgmental to people? Yeah, everybody. That's the one that called me a sovereign citizen because I wouldn't identify. When the fact is, they're the sovereign citizens. Russellville City Police call me a sovereign citizen. That's it. She walks straight up to my wife and says, well, I know your husband's a sovereign citizen and called four other cops to show up because she assumed I was a sovereign citizen because I wouldn't identify. Once I went live, his attitude changed because he was saying if I didn't identify, I could be placed under arrest. All right, everybody. Thanks for being here when I needed you. Okay, we're done. Let me see if you can locate an OL for Samantha Payne and Jeremiah Payne. Samantha Payne and Jeremiah Payne. Yeah, well, we've already located them. 10-4. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything wrong with a kid. He was happy. And yeah. So I just made contact with the caller, see what they saw. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they could really see anything. He's locked their windows except for tenants. So. Yeah. Well, we're going to be on YouTube again, bud. Look, well, he's just standing there, like, still. 807. I want to tip the him so bad I can't stand it. I yeah, wish you would have when he wouldn't give his name. The fact that we already know who he is, kind of. Don't recall. Do it. I don't recall. <laughs> so, uh, I'm getting out of here. Do it. I know. Can't talk without getting yeah. recorded. Yeah. So. All one right. day, we'll yeah. get him. Yeah. I can't wait. That's what <laughs> I live for. And then I asked him if he had an ID just for the report, and he was like, I'm not giving you anything, I'm just a passenger, blah, blah, blah. And he's got his, like, camera with the little selfie stick out. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. You guys suck. You are like ISIS. Just the fuckboy version. <laughs>
because you are willing to use any amount of violence against us to get us to stop keeping you accountable. And we, on the other hand, at least me personally, I'm not willing to return the violence against you. But you know what? I think there's a lot of people who see what you're doing who may be different than me. Does that make sense? You gonna let him arrest him? Yes. What's, uh, what's the charge? I, I don't know. I wasn't well, here, so okay. I, I'm Can not we ask to. him what the charge is? He'll, I'll get that from him here in a little bit. So we're arresting him, we don't even know what the charge is yet. He does. <laughs> I do not. I just showed up. You're the supervisor. You're not going to make sure there's no unlawful arrest by yeah. saying, hey, what's the charge? I, I believe in my guys and I trust them. If these guys can be believed in and trusted and don't need any oversight, then what's the point of the supervisor position? It sounds to me as if this woman's job is completely unnecessary. Really? Yep. Do you have a com complaint about... Oh, I mean, you know I'm not going to actually file it with the department. I file it with okay. the public. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then... Well, then we're business is done here, so okay. we're going to get out of here. What's okay? your name? Sergeant O'Brien. Sergeant O'Brien. Yes, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. And you're going to let him, your your boy take him to jail? Absolutely. And you understand that for officers... I have 100% confident in their ability. Okay, okay, and you understand that officers are becoming less and less safe because of stuff like this, right? Okay. okay. Have a good day. All right. I think you're winning. I think we're losing and you're winning. Yeah. You know why? Because you are willing to use any amount of violence against us to get us to stop keeping you accountable. And we, on the other hand, at least me personally, I'm not willing to return the violence against you. But you know what? I think there's a lot of people who see what you're doing who may be different than me. We begin with breaking news in Dallas, Texas, where at least five police officers were killed when they were ambushed by at least two snipers. Six other officers and a civilian were injured. As you mentioned, the gunfire erupted in downtown Dallas with no warning, turning this place into a war zone and still very much resembling one right now. Officials saying the intent of the shooters was to kill as many officers as possible. Stop! Nobody's gonna touch you! If we wanted to hurt you, you'd never see us!